Hey yo, what's up my beloved Hashtag Champions fam? It's the bad guy of WWE Champions, Zeke 4-0, back with a brand new video. Now, this video is going to be short, sweet, and brief, so allow me to get right to the point because we have some content grinding ahead of us very, very soon. So, when it comes to this game, I used to do a, a video series called To Pull or Not to Pull because that is always the question. As you can see, normally if not all the time, there is always a plethora of banners to pull on when it comes to champions, one way or the other, whether it's a fan favorite, whether it has something to do with the contest superstars of the week, or a brand new debuting unit. So, you always want to pick your spots. You always want to know when to hold them, know when to fold them, and know when to just say no and walk away. Now, we just got the release of the Baby It's Gold outside loop banner with the debut of Attitude Era Striker. Yes, Striker, not Trickster. Goldberg, the streak begins. And after seeing some solid gameplay from the Broskies and Siskies from the Scopely Content Creator Group, I'm not going to deny it. Goldberg is a hoss. He's an absolute beast of a unit. He does the striker class justice. They did the, the man, the myth, the legend himself justice. And he is going to be phenomenal at six star. However, thanks to watching many other gotcha game videos from people of the likes of Nanogenics, The Truth DT, to the Broskis over at Caldea Gurus, or even a GNA Reviews, I have learned and I have garnered the wisdom to figure out when to pull and when not to pull on certain banners and loots when it comes to different games. And this is a situation where I have to share my knowledge with you. Even going back to my days of playing One Piece Treasure Cruise, my broski Totski also laid down knowledge. And I feel that it is my responsibility as a content creator, as well as a fellow champion player, to give you a little bit of insight. Now, when it comes to banners, you always want to check the loot before you even pull, before you even spend any money on the game or that particular loot. See if you're going to get banged for your buck in the loot. Now, if you went ahead and spent and invested on the best of 2022 loot, you were rock solid. Why? Here's why. Because you probably were going after fuses, going for new characters, but you had a solid chance to pick up characters that you were missing out on meaning you had a higher probability rate of getting something new and reasonable instead of getting straight up scoped this is one of those banners where you're going to be more than likely scoped no matter how much disposable income you pump into the banner now i've seen the leaderboards and i get they're doing this whole anonymous thing so people don't know who's spending it doesn't matter who spends if you're a whale Thank you for keeping the likes on. Do you, honey, boo-boo child, all of y'all Pokemon trainers out there feeling that you got to catch them all, recruit them all? Do you? I can't tell you what to do with your money, but I can simply give some advice to people who are out there who spend here and there. They're dolphins. They're not whales or belugas. They simply see a new banner. They see the OP gameplay, and then they get enticed to, uh, to partake into their gambling vices because this is gambling, y'all, one way or the other. And let's be real, whenever you do pulls, you want to, I personally feel, pull for wrestlers that you're fans of. If you're a fan of Goldberg, pull on the banner. If you're a fan of Hulk Hogan, pull on the banner. If you're a fan of Alexa Bliss, pull on the banner. I respect that. But also understand the consequences that come with that. Understand what you're dealing with. Now, watching my boy, The Truth DT, he has broken down knowledge. Go ahead and check him out. I will literally leave a link in the comments below this video because he talks about banners all the time and it gave me the insight and knowledge to know how to approach the banners that come into WWE Champions. When you look at this loop, the only good thing you're really getting out of here is Goldberg or Hogan, Alexa Bliss. But look at everybody else, okay? Let's think about this. Cena, old school Black Friday unit. He's not really top tier anymore unless you're a Cena mark. The, the um, head of the table, Roman Reigns. We don't have a tribal chief, Roman Reigns, just yet. Okay, humanoid form, right? If you like Roman, go for him. Mr. Sacco, i seen on the portal, a lot of people were voting for his gear. Gameplay-wise, I understand it. I personally voted for Scott Hall because 
I'm the bad guy at WWE Champions, and Scott Hall's one of my favorite wrestlers. So I went ahead for that. And just so we're clear, just like the many faces of Foley, just because they're saying there's going to be offering this uh, the, this ugly sweater as, as, as free, there's going to have to come a grind uh, with that. Uh, with that, so y'all need to understand that immediately. You're voting for uh, for a sweater. It's going to be whoever wins wins. It's going to be more than likely a final milestone that you're going to have to grind out to obtain via faction boss battle or the 12 days of Christmas event. Either way. You just be prepared for what you're getting, and it's not like you're going to hop in the game and then you pop up, pop open your messages, and in your inbox is going to be the gear. That is not what's happening. They're literally just getting feedback, and then they're going to add it into the game so they know what everyone's going on, going over. There's also probably going to be store offers for that, so on and so forth. But when you look at this loot banner, unless you're a fan of Drew, my Drew's five star gold have the honky tonk man plate on him. I got, the, I don't have this uh, this ugly sweater set up yet, but he's still a fun unit he cycles like crazy he can hit pretty hard with takedown on him he's a beast i get it but look at everything else that comes with it look at all these shards you're more than likely when you get a feature pull you might get 200 of mr Sako shards you might get eight you're more than likely going to get eight thousand braun breaker or pg lesnar shards or next big thing shards you might be pulling some stratisfaction shards that's what you're looking at be realistic Goldberg and Hogan are the prizes here. Alexa Bliss, top-notch well, waifu. And again, she's going to be required to do some content. She's going to be required for the Blissmas alongside Randy Orton. So if you like Alexa, you need a solid waifu, I get why you're pulling. But aside from that, look at everything else you're going to be getting. You might get a solid fuse up. You might get some shards to recruit some of these characters, but look at everything else. This is hands down, in my opinion, one of the worst, worst banners I've seen throughout this entire year. And that's why I'm suggesting to pull or not to pull, I say skip. Because why? Here's why. Shout out to you, Simon Miller. Goldberg will be back. These other units will be back. We pull British Bulldog. Kane, Lesnar, Batista. We pull all these characters all the time absolutely free. You're going to pull these older units before you pull Goldberg or Hogan. And quite frankly, within the communities that I'm in on Discord, I haven't really seen that many people pull Goldberg at all. I haven't. I really haven't seen any real solid pulls. Really haven't. But kudos to those out there who have. But this is what you're dealing with. Do you really want to spend $200 on a pack, $100 on a pack to walk away with a bunch of anvil shards? And that's big thing shards. I don't want to see y'all go out like that. You can do what you want with your money, but understand what you're pulling on. That best of 2022 loot was better because you had a chance of pulling someone new. You had a chance of pulling a, so a couple solid fuses. You had a chance to recruit Champions that you were close to recruiting earlier on in the year, but you had to wait. You probably were close to recruiting Acrobat and uh, Acrobat Dominic. And boom, you got him. You were probably close to uh, recruiting powerhouse Kevin Owens, who's a monster at five-star gold, who can take down six stars. You got the last shards for him. That's a good look. They brought back the mutant characters. Okay, you had solid options on that banner that it was worth the investment. So even if you got scoped, you might have walked away a little bit closer to a project that you wanted to get. This is a banner that's literally giving you the middle finger and lets you know that we might be headed, possibly headed into a pay to win situation within the 12 days of Christmas event. The rewards since the game's launch, since the content's launch, have been lackluster. I'm not mad for one, they gave us a three star bronze card of santa hogan so at least i was able to get a fuse up for my three star silver who's now three star gold i'm working on getting more tokens to get them up to four star bronze it's a timely event you don't gotta do a do a, everything all crazy and hectic however they also have made it clear that you might need to spend some money to do some pulls to get santa hogan so that you can get him at five star or spend money so you can get the tokens to get him up to five star so you can get those six star tokens I don't like the what, that they did that, but it's a part of the game. It's not even surprising after what they did with Happy Corbin. So it is what it is. 
It's unfortunate that they uh, that they went down this route, but they have to keep the lights on one way or the other. And there's players in the community that are going to do it. But I'm just giving you advice. What you do is what you do. And I'm going to respect you and have nothing but love for you. I'm always going to be here for you. But quite frankly, you want to pay attention to your banners. They're always going to put up a banner to get your disposable income. They're always going to put up a banner to get your I, your IGC in-game cash that you've been stockpiling from doing all those uh, those free uh, missions and objectives through the tap joy. They're going to come after your resources one way or the other. Because quite frankly, I've gotten to the point with this game, I've seen people with b over a billion coins. A billion coins doesn't mean nothing to me if you know when you get a six star and you go to maximum, when you go to take them six star silver, it's going to cost you 150 mil. You work on a couple five stars, you're already done. You're already b b below, a below, below a billion. Doesn't matter how much many coins you have. Doesn't matter how much TP you have, how many tokens. They've built the game to take those precious resources from your way, and that grind is crazy. You're either going to have to sit there and be patient and apply the, the virtue that is patience and wait uh, wait and do, uh, do your content uh, diligently to get your resources up and uh, hope and pray the RNG gods bless you, or you're going to dig into a dig into, uh, into a waifu uh, to your wallet sign, your waifu sign and do what you got to do let you know make sure you take care of your mortgage first make sure you take uh, care of your payments make sure that your kids are fed first and foremost before you start spending on this game because at the end of the day this is a game and one thing that i also have come to terms with this game has an expiration date there's going to be one point in time it doesn't matter how many many uh, how much money how much uh, disposable income you pump into this game there's going to come a time and date where they are going to shut this game down so be realistic and be reasonable. I love Goldberg, but I also uh, love myself enough. I love my family enough that I'm not even going to run that play. Priorities before pleasure. And even after you're done taking, uh, uh, taking care of priorities, even when it's time to play, doesn't mean you got to go outside and play. There's nothing wrong with staying, uh, staying in and watching a good movie for absolutely free or spending time with your loved ones. This is an easy skip for me, and that's all I'm trying to pass on to you. You don't got to spend on every single banner just because it's an OP unit. And guess what? Because power creep is a thing. Who's to say that Goldberg is OP for just a week? Who's to say he's going to be viable in a month, six months, a year? There's certain champions that stand the test of time. One character that comes to my mind easily is, Techni is Technician Kofi Kingston. That is one unit that I've seen that has somehow, he took a little bump at five star. Now he's at six star again. He's got a new brand, new lease on life. That's like one of the few characters I've seen that stand, that has truly stood the test of time in this game. Goldberg's going to be a monster, but guess what? You still got the likes of a Showboat Nakamura out there. You got guys with supers with super subs still, depending on the content that you're dealing with. Who's to say that super subs don't come back again? There's always going to be a bigger, more ferocious shark out there. Goldberg is in the moment. He's similar to, uh, to Striker Andre. He's similar to Hall of Fame Warrior. He's a cash grab unit. He's a solid character. His trainer and coaching ability is pretty with top notch. It's pretty beast. It's going to be very viable and useful to certain characters. But at the end of the day, is it worth your disposable income at in the moment? No. He will be back just like any other mega superstar. He will be back on a future unit uh, banner release. He will be back in another in another banner, possibly around anniversary time. He will return. Just because a character launches initially does not mean you have to go after him. Get the shards that you can. Pick up the shards where you can. Do what you got to do on the portal. Do what you got to do in the game. But most importantly, be smart, be sensible, and have fun. I want you all to have a great time. Now, with this Randy Savage tour that's about to launch, from what my math is saying, they say that you're using Randy uh, Randy Savage, rest in paradise, my boy, to clear out any of the um, difficulty nodes, um, final bosses, is 100,000 points. Then it's an uh, additional 25k for NWO tag link superstars. So if you have Trickster Randy Savage, I believe, you, uh, maybe possibly even Shobo Savage, I'm more confident in saying Trickster Savage. That would be technically, if Scopely sticks to their word and their math, that's 125,000 points per uh, per fight. And if it's the max is going to be 7 million for this one, as well as the three wise new gen and the Blissmas that are coming up, 24 hour events, that would mean that you would have to grind out one of those boss battles 50, around 56 times to hit 7 million to max it. If 
they allow you to apply the bonus points that they say that are there on the blog. Because as we always know, test areas, things are subject to change. But y'all let me know your thoughts. Get ready to gear up for this. What are your feelings and how are y'all feeling so far with the 12 days of Christmas? Make sure to still log in regardless of what they do, whether it ends up being a pay to win situation, which it obviously is with Goldberg. Let me know how y'all feel. Do do your best uh, due diligence to still log in, get the freebies, whether on the game inside the store or on the portal. Keep on logging in and always know that no matter what, you are forever a champion. I love you all. I want nothing but the best for you, but it's been a long time since I've done a to pull or not to pull video, and this is one of the perfect opportunities to just showcase and explain to you and describe to you what it means to look at a look at a banner. Especially, it's not even about the uh, the loopholes anymore. It's about the offers in store. What are the bonus things you're getting? Because when you look at the range, they were like to me personally spending. 200 bucks to maybe get 150 million coins that isn't a good deal to me that really isn't because coins are something that should be easy to obtain they should be giving you big uh, big ranges of wealth when it comes to the packs that they're giving out now especially with the six star and knowing six star silvers are going to be coming sooner rather than later you should be getting bang for your buck with a lot of these offers and quite frankly I get now by investing in pull in pull um, packs that give you those key resources so you can keep on building up your uh, your roster even if you get scoped on the other side with the loopholes but even then looking at the payout looking at how it uh, how it goes when it pertains to the amount of TP you get the different types of tokens I feel we're at a point in time where they need to take a, a page out of of a Marvel Contest of Champions book where they have like class selectors and everything where you can basically pick, you get to choose your tokens. Now, I get it. We get those options with the six star tokens and everything, the, the six star medallions. They have offered that. But I feel nowadays you should, I think people would buy packs if those medallions were included. So you can simply buy and pick out the medallions you specifically need. And even when it pertains to having six star medallion, the token of six star token medallions, even five star diamond medallions, we could easily start doing packs like that. If champions did that alongside with loopholes, people I think would invest more because now you're not only getting a chance at pulling somebody new, but you're getting a guaranteed choice of certain resources. So that waifu or that husbando that you've been saving up for, that person that you've been working on all this time, now you can buy a pack and guarantee you're going to six-star bronze. You're going to six-star silver. Obviously, RNG is still going to be RNG. It is what it is. The opportunity alone to have those amount of six-star tokens on the Hogan tour is a blessing. But again, not everyone has a five-star uh, Santa Hogan. Not everyone's going to be wailing like that. So there has to be more opportunities. And thankfully, with this uh, content, they are saying we're going to have chances at these six-star medallions. But if they started including those in packs, even if it was for limited time, like they ran it for Christmas, they ran it during the anniversary month, they ran them during Black Friday, I think people would buy those and you'd get more returns on it. So um, that, that's the thing that the champions could do to make it more interesting. You're getting guaranteeing a return you're taking care of your uh, your community and the community is going to show respect by investing in the game and keep the game going because now it's no longer rng rng is something that hinders so many people when it comes to the drops of the pools let alone the resources and tokens the tp that you need but if you start having situations like a pack where you had a technician pack where you had a 99 dollars 200 dollars pack i know 200 dollars is extreme but people will pay for it if you had packs that were set up like that where you could literally Pick a powerhouse. You have an acrobat, powerhouse, showboat, striker, technician, trickster pack. And you got a set amount of six star medallion of uh, the selectors, a set amount of five star diamond, uh, uh, diamond, emerald, and gold selectors, silver. If you could get all that in a pack and you could pick those tokens or you get specifically those tokens in those packs. People would spend more money because then they know their money. They're even if I get juked on the pulls, I'm guaranteed on a superstar that I've been working on for months, maybe even a whole year, just because of the drops. So, y'all, let me know your thoughts down below. Good luck with the Randy Savage, uh, the Randy Savage run. I wish y'all nothing but the best. I got nothing but love for y'all because always remember, no matter how the drop rates are, hey yo, hard work pays off, dreams come true. Bad times don't last.
but champions do. Thank you again for uh, watching this video. If you did choose to watch it, thank you again for the opportunity to entertain you with my content. I got nothing but love for you, no matter what faction you're in, whether you're just why you just came across my content or you've been playing champions for a while or you're just getting started. I'm always here to give my constructive critique. I still got nothing but love and respect for Scopely and champions. That's why I still play the game, but I want to see everybody win. I really do strongly advise if you were thinking about pulling on this banner to not. If you already have, it is what it is. I can't knock you for do uh, throwing some uh, money at it, looking at the gameplay and seeing how OP and monster, monstrous Goldberg is. And Goldberg is a guy that a lot of people are fans of. That's that's my childhood there. Just like Rocker Stone Cold, they know the names to throw out that are going to pull that are that are going to bring the bring the wallets out. And you know we're fickle. A lot of us wrestling fans are fickle. I've seen it multiple times. But at the end of the day, I don't want you to be fickle with your disposable income. The sports entertainment, professional wrestling is one thing. Your livelihood and your disposable income is a whole other situation. Priorities before pleasure and always know that you can do better. So with that being said, I really strongly advise skipping on this. But if you're a fan of any of these wrestlers on here, do what you got to do. I wish you nothing but the best of luck. But this is definitely not one of the best banners to pull on. And hopefully the content holds up. Everyone has an amazing time moving ahead. Moving ahead. And y'all have a great time once this uh, Macho uh, Macho Man um, tour launches. Hopefully they stick to their words. Seven million to max it. 125,000 uh, 125, points for one win if they uh, apply it properly with NWO Tr Trickster Randy Savage. Just took mine up to five star bronze. Let the good times roll. And until next time, y'all, I hope you enjoyed the video. Peace!